Retired four-star General Jack Keane joins me now. Fox News Senior Strategic Analyst and Chairman of the Study of the Institute for the Study of War. General, good to have you with us. So I guess the, the biggest news here today is this news from Poland that they have agreed to send some of their MiG-29 fighter jets through, through uh, NATO's base in, in Germany to ultimately to Ukraine. Yeah, well, certainly it, this is something that's been in the works for some time. Uh, Zelensky certainly has, has wanted this uh, because it's still amazing that the Ukrainian uh, Air Force still has some capability out there, but certainly he knows it's dwindling. Um, it remains to be seen uh, how, this, how this air, these aircraft are going to be employed. Where are they going to be positioned? And uh, will, will they be able to get the repair parts that they need? I think that's why it's taken a little bit of time to work through you know, all, all the issues here, particularly uh, the logistic issues and, and the employment issues. So we'll see, we'll see how this pans out, but it's certainly a step in the right direction to help the Ukrainian forces out there. Do you know how many jets we're talking about? And these are older fighter jets, and there was discussion that we would have to backfill the supply to Poland. Uh, we don't have, as far as I understand it, enough F-16s to do that at the moment that are available. And... One more question I'll throw in there, and that is, you know, who's going to fly these planes from the NATO air base to Ukraine, and how will that be perceived by Putin? Well, I think that's part of the logistics issues. You know, are they going to, Ukrainian pilots going to go over and pick them up? I, I suspect that may be the best answer, but I'm not involved in the details of it. I don't know the, the numbers involved. The backfill of the F-16s. Uh, I think they likely have a commitment from the United States. Uh, when that takes place is another, is another matter. It's not something we just do overnight, Martha. Yeah. Uh, but if we make a commitment, the polls know enough to trust us about that commitment. We're providing you know, significant military assistance to them. We, we've got troops in their country. Um, almost a full armor brigade is sitting in Poland. Uh, so we have a very solid relationship uh, with that country as a member of NATO. So I'm just curious because we know that President Zelensky has been calling for a no-fly zone. And he said, if you can't do that, then give us the planes so that we can put it in place ourselves. Are they going to be able to do that? Will they be able to create more strength, more power in the skies over Ukraine with these, with these planes? No, absolutely not, in my, in my view. I mean, what, what, he, what he gets from time to time um, is air supremacy, where he can conduct uh, air operations in support of a limited uh, ground operation for a period of time, but he doesn't, he, he'll never be able to achieve air superiority mm -hmm. where he actually controls all the airspace. He, the Russians, much to all of us, surprise, haven't been able to achieve that themselves. Which, I, I mean, I mean, really believe the answer here is, is not a safe zone. Uh, it, it still doesn't guarantee uh, the safe evacuation of people. I mean, safe corridors on the ground, motorized uh, evacuation, I think, is the best option here. But what our viewers have got to understand, dealing with the Russians, their military objective is to defeat the Ukrainian military and, and topple the government. To accomplish that also, they have another military objective. And believe me, it is an assigned objective. And that is to kill as many of the Ukrainian people as they possibly can by toppling their neighborhoods and their residences to break the will of the Ukrainian government. This is a way of war for Russia in all of their previous campaigns. And actually, in Chechnya, as we, as we pointed out in Syria, it is, has been absolutely devastating. And that could still be in front of us in terms of massive carpet bombing and wholesale killing of civilians. So that, is the, that is their way of war. And we're seeing it play out. So I'm asking now, before I let you go, what, what do you expect to see in Kyiv? You said over the next 24 to 96 hours. And before you answer that question, I just want to play one moment from President Zelensky addressing the UK Parliament today. And then we'll get your answer on the other side, if I may, General. The question for us now is to be or not to be. Now I can give you a definitive answer. It's definitely yes to be. We will not give up and we will not lose. We will 
fight till the end at sea, in the air. We will continue fighting for our land, whatever the cost. We will fight in the forests, in the fields, on the shores, in the streets. Real uh, Churchillian language there um, that I think a lot of people will recognize and obviously speaking to the British Parliament. But what do you expect to see in the skies over Kyiv and on the ground there in the coming days, sir? Yeah, well, what's happening there is they, it looks like they're making preparations to restart an offensive. And, and this one is likely to be uh, have considerably more combat power. On the east, they're coming from Chernev and all for, from Sumy on converging axes, and they will come down to Kyiv and uh, attempt to encircle the city on the east side. On the west is one we've been very familiar with that has come down as far as the Hamastel airfield uh, outside of Kyiv, and they've had significant difficulty. We've seen, interesting enough, that there are f uh, fighters there in the lead who are Chechnyan fighters. There's a group called the Liga Group, which may be a renamed Wagner Group, mm. who have considerable experience in Syria, Libya, Mali, and Venezuela, and and they may be uh, with armor forces attempting to make the make the penetration, and also go down the west side and encircle the city, hammer the city with attack area weapons, rocket artillery, artillery bombs to be sure, topple as much of that city as they possibly can, try to seek a surrender. And if they don't get a surrender, then they would move in into the city, and that would involve some very significant urban fighting. The Ukrainians have had two weeks to prepare the city for this. If they go inside that city, the Ukrainians are going to fight them as hard as they possibly can. Uh, it, it would it, 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 the level of violence and, of course, casualties in urban warfare, if it comes to that, would be very high. Devastating. Um, before I let you go, what do you think about the president and how? open he's been about where he is. In fact, I think we could roll this video quickly. He was at his desk in his office in the Capitol building and showing his phone out the window. What do you think about that? Well, he's full of daring. He's full of Elan. Uh, I, I, I'm hoping it, it was just what it appeared to be, a photo op in his office. And he's not there reading battlefield reports. He's someplace else in a bunker doing that. Mm -hmm. um, listen, I'm, I take nothing away from Zelensky. Uh, uh, he, he's, he's grabbed the world microphone, and, and he is certainly motivating and inspiring his people and actually inspiring other leaders to provide assistance to him. My hat's off to him. Yeah, absolutely. Um, when you think about the, the changes that he has forced in just the past few days with getting jets and also getting an oil ban from the United States and the U.K., he is pushing, 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 and all at the same time telling them how grateful he is for every single thing that they're doing, but you must do more. And he's getting it, which is really an extraordinary uh, example that we're watching. General Keene, thank you very much. Always good to see you, sir. Yeah, great talking to you, Martha, as always. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.